Hey everybody. Well, Billy and I decided we're gonna load up the quads with a bunch of awesome food, a couple of tents, and go have ourselves a cookout and a camp out in the bush tonight. It's raining right now. It's pretty, pretty grim outside, pretty wet. But uh, who knows, man, that could change. The weather in Canada can change at the blink of an eye. Might even snow for all we know. So anyways, I'm just trying to get organized here and pack a couple of essentials that I know we'll need, like a big ass knife, that I think I got from, probably got from Bass Pro. This is a big sucker. I think it's like an eight or 10 inch blade uh, serrated on the back. This is an awesome knife, super heavy. You can use it to split kindling and whatnot. Came with a couple of uh, strikers on the back there so we can try and start a fire, primitive style, which I've never done. I've never started a fire using anything other than gasoline and a lighter. So we're gonna give that a try. <laughs> We've got some paracord that always comes in handy. I've got a little map here of an area where I think we want to go. I've got this tent. I think they call it a three-man tent, which is probably just a one-man tent. But my father-in-law, I think, won this at a stag like 25 years ago, and it's never even been out of the package. So <laughs> it'll be really interesting to bring this thing out and see if it still uh, is all intact. But it's been just sitting and probably rotting away. Um, I have a really big ass tent. My wife and I go camping quite often, but we have like a huge cabin style tent and that's not gonna be quad friendly. So I'm gonna roll the dice with this little tent. I've got my backpack here. I've got a sleeping bag, a little mini cooler. Uh, da -da -da -da. We're gonna bring the hatchet because you know we'll need that. I'm gonna try to figure out how to configure all this stuff. I'm thinking I'm gonna fill this tote, which I have a couple of dry pieces of wood in there that we may need if everything's wet. I got my <clears throat> climate sleeping pad. This thing is freaking awesome. It's like the size of your palm. It weighs like a pound. Perfect for backpack, backcountry camping. Um, it's actually quite comfortable. My sister gave that to me. I've got a good cast iron skillet, a kettle, a couple of mugs here, which is kind of funny. My wife got these for us for camping. One's Mr. and one's Mrs. So Billy, you are going to be Mrs. for this, this excursion. And I'm going to try and bring this chair. I really wish I could bring the quad or the, the three wheeler. I really want to bring this, but uh, I think where we're going, the terrain's probably quite challenging, especially if it's been raining. There's going to be a lot of mud and water probably going into where I think we want to go pitch our tents and have our have our night. But uh, I really don't want to roll the dice with that little quad, that little three wheeler and have it get stuck because uh, I want this to be relaxing. I don't want to work hard this particular adventure. Just want to go relax, have some awesome food. Just me and Billy shooting the breeze. So we're going to take the, the Renegade 1000. This thing doesn't get uh, stuck in trail scenarios. I shouldn't say it doesn't get stuck. I get stuck all the time. But this is way more capable for a camp experience than the 1984 Honda 125M. That's for damn sure. So Billy's on his way. We're going to figure out uh, how, to, how to pack the bikes up. And we're going to go hit the trail and find somewhere to make home for a night. So come along for the journey, guys. A new place, a new home for a while. Let me feel alive. All right, so two good things have happened. First thing, me. <laughs> Billy showed up and he's packing his bike, trying to figure out how we're gonna strap these coolers and boxes and stuff. And secondly, the sun is out. It is gorgeous. Like I said, in Canada, the weather can change immediately. And it did. So uh, yeah, we're getting ready to go. We got a tender on Billy's bike because <laughs> uh, something's going on. It's on the fritz. So this voltage is reading a little low, put the tender on. We got some jumper cables just in case because it's just me and him out there. So uh, wish us luck. Anyways, we'll be out of here in like 10 minutes and then uh, see you in the bush. We'll see you at home.
we're around here everyone. We're just kind of looking for a home. We really have no idea. We just figured we'd get halfway in with the gas. <sighs> and uh, yeah, find a spot and return on our gas. Oh, this one's not bad. I like that. A little bit open. All right, I, I think we found a spot. I don't know if you guys can tell. Yeah, we did. But I, I think this is pretty level. And we're right beside this trail that we came in on. It's a pretty, it's a pretty forest. So now we just got to unpack all of our stuff and set up our uh, little shanty town for the night. Hey, eh, Billy? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So we got some really good food packed for, for this, uh, this adventure. We brought a couple of beers. We got two small tents that we're going to fart around with. We brought, uh, Billy's got his machete strapped to his bike there. It's <laughs> pretty great. <laughs> yeah, we're going to even try to start a fire without a lighter. We have uh, some of those striker things on the back of the knife. We're going to give that a go. See if we can't bushcraft the shit out of this, eh, Billy? I'm hoping. I'm hoping. Like, I mean, we're, we're quite pyro-y. Yeah. Bare minimum. We got a sleeping pad, a sleeping bag. Ooh, big spider. Oh, you got that up pretty quickly, eh, Billy? Not bad, eh? That's not bad. Geometry. <laughs> oh, got a great little campsite here. We are in the woods with lots of dry wood around. Uh, that's great. Just got to be really careful with the fire tonight because things are pretty dry over here. All right, I'm going to find some birch bark because we need to start a fire or want to start a fire with the flint strikers. So we're really going to try. Go down to birch over here. Let's grab a little piece. Ugh. It's pretty saturated. I don't know. We'll find out. A little chunk here. We got her, Billy. We did. Okay, so if you shave this, the birch bark, it makes it a lot easier. We got fire. Oh no! Don't too shoot. much. I only put one stick.
kitchen has arrived. Hey, Billy, the old kitchen. I'm starving. I'm starving too, Thank buddy. Thank goodness this thing's roaring now. Took a minute. Yeah, fire's going. We got this pretty cool grill from Amazon, actually. And it seems like legit steel. Like, she's pretty good material. Get some coals, and then we're going to start cooking. So stay tuned for what we got cooking. There's Billy's tent. We bought these little A-frame tents for uh, ATV camp adventures because they're really small. Literally, like, the size <laughs> of your forearm. But, uh, yeah, they're, they're like, I don't know, what do you say? I think it said 11, 6 foot 11 long. Yeah. So it'll fit Billy's big butt in there. It's gonna fit. I'm going for it tonight. Yeah, Billy's sleeping in that I'm tonight. I'm going for it. I wimped out and said, you know what? I think I'd like a little more comfort. He's like, you could just double up with me. I'm like, oh man, we're using it. I need to test it to see to see what it is. Oh, you wanted to snuggle up. I mean, you want to stay warm. <laughs> I'm I'm small spoon. <laughs> Beers are a little shaken up, Billy, because they were on the back of the quad, eh? Gee, that's like a commercial for Guinness. Grab yourself a Guinness, mate, by the campfire. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, me too. I am hungry, dude. All right. All right. So, tonight we're making chicken fajitas. How's that for a campside meal? We got some chicken that's been marinating since Thursday night. So two full days. And it smells incredible. Can you smell it from there? I can smell it. Yeah, it's good. It's real good. We did forget to bring oil though. So that'll be interesting. But anyways, we are having chicken fajitas. All this is a great hack for camping. You can make nice meals like this and not have to like stress out on the campsite by chopping up all your veg. Prep it all at home and put it in Ziploc bags. So you got peppers and onions already sliced and diced, ready to rock. Grill off some chicken, heat up your tortillas, some cheese, some salsa, some sour cream. Voila. Hey, Billy, buongiorno. Here on my campsite, we make a chicken fajitas. That's Italian. Let me try it again. Let me try it as a Mexican. How does Mexican sound? Uh, Hey, hello, bro. Tonight we're making uh, chicken fajitas on the fire. Oh. We have salsa, verde, sour cream, pepper, onion. Arriba! <laughs> <laughs> no disrespect to my Mexican friends. I need to be able to flip these, though, Billy, because they're going to get hot quick. Mm. Luck. I should have brought pan spray too. I for totally forgot to oil the grill. needs what do we say Ooh, a little more one from my homies <laughs> a little bit of guinness stout and peppers and onions yeah buddy braise them in that Ooh, kill them kill them kill them kill them that smells phenomenal they need smell a vision already like you people at home could smell what billy and i got cooking never mind dwayne the rock That and a Vegeta. Mm. Crazy good. The coyotes are coming for sure. <laughs> you heard that, eh? Did you just hear that? Okay, let me explain. Where we are is known for a humongous pack of coyotes. Like you, you, you can hear them at night. Like it sounds like there's hundreds of them. This is like their their stomping ground. So. And I've been up here before. Dan Am and I had seen a huge one, and also my other buddy Dan and I had seen a couple of huge ones here. Like, they're the size of freaking bull mastiffs. Like, they're humongous. So, cooking food. Well, we gotta eat. Uh, and then drawing them in. Well, you got a machete. 
Yeah, I got my shit here. We got a couple of big knives. Uh, Chris has got, got this guy. Plus, we got this. How do you think Conor McGregor got so tough, bud? Huh? What is it? <gasps> yeah, liquid courage. I see. So between liquid courage I and a couple it. of knives, Billy and I will be all right. Yeah. Now back to your scheduled. Oh, Viva Mexico, baby. Viva la Mexico. Mm -hmm. You ready for this? I'll let you know how it is. Mosquito, get out of my ear. More footwork. More, More footwork. footwork. More Fast. footwork. More passion. Energy. More energy. Mm. Mm. Do it. <laughs> yeah, boy. Mm. You make them that kips. Yum, yum. Mm. All the coyotes are coming tonight. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of wildlife though, eh? Woodpeckers going. Yeah, there's a lot of things. Other bigger animals knocking brush down over there. A lot of deer here too. Lots of deer. Maybe a bear. That'd be cool if we could. No! I don't want bear. A black bear. Come on, we're not in grizzly country. Well, let's see him tomorrow. While, while we're, we're cooking bacon? No, at least while we're moving. Oh. <laughs> Where I can book it. Yeah, so the last time Dan M and I came out I mean, we we're on the the north side of this area, mm -hmm. and uh, we stopped. We seen this huge deer, um, at, like the brush line. So we stopped, and I pull up my camera to get it, and then I just so happened to notice this huge coyote who was like stalking this deer. Weird, right? Not to say that he was going to attack it, but he, you could tell he was curious about it. So like, holy shit, Dad! Look at the size of this coyote. And he just—it looked like a freaking gray wolf, man. It was humongous. Makes you feel uneasy how big these things are. I'm telling you, man, they're different. Like those koi wolf hybrids or something. I mean, as long as it's not a pack, we're good. Yeah. But I heard a story on, uh, I guess I probably watched it on YouTube, where this 14-year-old boy was out in the bush, and yeah. he got attacked by a pack of coyotes. There was like four or five of them. And uh, oh. he, he was covered in puncture wounds and whatnot. He had quite a few stitches. What was but, he doing out there? I, I, probably just exploring or building a fort or having fun. Like whatever 14-year-olds oh, okay. do, yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? So, uh, yeah, he got attacked by this small pack of coyotes. Jeez. They never got him to the ground, though. So he was just kind of fighting him off as he was trying Thank to get goodness. out of there. So he just that's kept, when he would have been done. He just stood his ground and kept fighting him off. And, yeah, yeah, he it was fine. He, you know, after s some stitches and... <laughs> yeah, because if you, like, that's something you don't go into the fetal position at. <laughs> you know, like, yeah, yeah. you, you, you just, do not stop fighting. It's rare that a ki that coyote, even packs, will attack humans. They yeah. usually try to go for small dogs and shit like that. In, in some well, areas, during but, yeah. the whole special Olympic COVID time, um, there was a lot in the city down then. Hmm. Yeah. We went for a hike. We had to work off all these fajitas and beers. I am so full. I have some big time itis. Yeah. Yeah. Got to fight through it, man. Got to fight through it. So Chris made me go for a walk. We need to go for a hike. It's beautiful in here, dude.
you how dark it is? Billy, shut your lights off. Finished our night ride. You can't see us because it is pitch black in this forest right now. Yeah. Hopefully that fire is still smoldering a little bit. Here I got my flashlight. Right there. There you go. <sighs> oh yeah, let's get that fire going again. It's kind of smoldered. It won't take much to get her going again. And we're home. That was a fun little night ride. A few kilometers. Oh, I am the fire master. I am the click commander. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, that is it. I'm tucked in my tent, and I'm tired. Hopefully, we get a good night's sleep. I don't know if you guys could hear those coyotes earlier, but that is uh, what we're dealing with. Oh, like, they are not. Yeah. Doesn't it sound like a hundred of them, Billy? I don't know, man. It sounds creepy. Yeah, it, it is eerie. I'm sitting here with my little knife. And yeah, Billy's sleeping with his knife. outside my door. Yeah, and I got mine. I don't know if you can see it. It's kind of dark in here, but I got mine right here, too. So just in case they want to come sniffing around. We also have a time lapse outside, and uh, we left a whole bunch of bright lights. I don't know if you can even tell. So our, our campsite's pretty illuminated, hoping that we're going to catch some activity at nighttime. That'd be super cool. Super cool to watch a couple coyotes sniffing around Billy's head. Yo, they're dead. They're dead. <laughs> Billy says they're yeah, fucking dead. dead yeah, so he's crawled into his little coffin there, his little canvas coffin. <laughs> yeah, it's like daylight in here. Uh, it's nice, though. That's it, guys. We're going to try to get some shut-eye. And then uh, tomorrow morning, we're, we're going to cook an awesome breakfast. So uh, stay tuned for that. Good morning, Billy. Good morning. Mm. It's early. It's very early. Mr. Tilly doesn't like early. No, uh, not this early. It's like quarter after five. <laughs> but I woke up around 3, 3.30ish to go to the bathroom, and it was quite cold. Then I heard Billy up. And uh, laid in bed for, what, another hour? Got out of bed at 4.35 o'clock. Yeah. Yep. And figured, screw it. Let's, let's get a fire going. Let's get some coffee rolling and uh, start cooking some breakfast. Leveled itself out. This one can have a nice piece of bacon in it. Who didn't level the pan? Well, Mr. Chris. Brecky. Mm, let's go with that angle. We do have some delicious bacon and eggs. Dick cut bacon? Did you say dick cut? If, you, if you've <laughs> never had dick cut bacon. You don't know what you're missing. You're missing out. Well guys, that's it. We're done. We're packed up. We're ready to get out of here. We're just burning the last little bit in the fire. We're gonna dump the bags of ice on it and we'll make sure uh, the fire's out before we head home. We've got a little bit of a journey ahead of us. Billy's over there strapping up. Billy, say bye to the kids at home. Bye kids. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you on the next one. Click subscribe or you are a loser.